Hello students. Now in this lecture we will be discussing about the question answers which are uh, or the questions which are there in the NCRT. So to begin with the first question is fill in the blanks. The question number 1 is question number 1 is fill fill in the blanks microorganisms can be seen with the help of a we know what are microorganisms microorganisms means very very minute creatures which cannot be seen with the naked eyes uh, obviously, we are. I'm not talking about the mushrooms, but I'm talking about the the rest of the microorganisms, which are very minute and cannot be seen by the naked eyes. And so, to see microorganisms, obviously, we need microscope. And so, the answer for the first one A it is microscope. That means to see the microorganisms which are very minute we need microorganisms without the help of microorganism uh, microscope <laughs> I said microorganism but it is microscope without microscope we cannot see microorganisms. Now come to the B1 blue green algae fix dash directly from air to enhance the fertility of the soil. We know this we have discussed just now even in the nitrogen fixation also and in discussing while discussing nitrogen cycle also we have discussed that there are certain bacteria as well as there are certain algae especially blue green algae which fixes nitrogen and convert it into the forms or the compounds of nitrogen. So, the question is blue green algae fix dash directly from air to enhance the fertility of soil. So, it fixes nitrogen and so this one is B yes. So, B is nitrogen. Now, I am talking about C fill in the blank number C. Alcohol is produced with the help of we have discussed this thing in detail we have discussed the use of the yeast. Now, yeast is responsible for the fermentation what is fermentation the breakdown of glucose into acid or alcohol breakdown of glucose or sugar broader sense if I if a broader way if I want to talk about then the breakdown of sugar into acid or alcohol is known as fermentation. And we have discussed that due to this process of fermentation due to this capability of yeast to ferment the sugar it is possible to make alcohol. It is possible it is very very beneficial for the uh, bakery or the uh, wine industry why because the fermentation is done because the fermentation occurs because the yeast has the capability to convert the sugars into the acids or the alcohols. So, come to the question it is given over here C alcohol is produced with the help of yeast. So, I will write over here yeast. come to the D1 cholera is caused by we know that this disease occurs due to the dirty water unclean unsafe drinking water or we can say when the sewage water or something uh, uh, you know which is not hygienic for the drinking water get mixed up in the water and definitely the one which is responsible for this is what none other than the bacteria. So, because the there are many water borne diseases which are caused by the bacteria maybe cholera talk about dysentery maybe you know many diseases like uh, 
even the tuberculosis, diphtheria, all I am not saying that all are waterborne diseases, but many waterborne diseases are caused by the bacteria. So, here again the T1 is bacteria. Now, we will come to the question number 2 and the question number 2 is the tick the correct answer. So, definitely I will not be writing question over here, I will just be writing the correct answer, I will not be writing even the options, I will just be writing the correct answer over here. So, let us talk about the question number 2 which is pick the correct answers, I will first of all write the heading question number 2. Pick the correct answer. Now, to begin with, the first one is yeast is used in the production of very funny. Just now we saw, and again the same question is given over there that. Yeast is used in the production of they have given the option sugar, alcohol, hydrochloric acid and oxygen. So, uh, what is the correct answer? I said that acids are produced, but it is not the hydrochloric acid. Uh, when we talk about uh, the anaerobic respiration in humans also what is produced lactic acid is produced. Now, the option is uh, the question is yeast is used in the production of and the answers the options are given as sugar, alcohol, hydrochloric acid and oxygen, but the correct answer is alcohol just now we discussed in the previous question only that how yeast is very very beneficial for the wine industry for the break bakeries why because it has the capability of breaking the glucose it has the capability of fermentation and that is the reason the alcohol is formed. So, the correct uh, the number is what A and the correct answer is alcohol. Now, come to the B1. B is the following is an antibiotic. Now, first of all what is the meaning of antibiotic? Antibiotic are the substances or the chemical chemicals which is produced by the uh, living uh, microorganisms ok. Anti we have read this, we have discussed this that antibiotic is a chemical substance produced by the microorganisms, but it has the capability to destroy other microorganisms. So, the following is an antibiotic, they have given the options as sodium bicarbonate, we know it is not at all a Mm, and not at all an antibiotic, then they have given streptomycin definitely it is uh, uh, antibiotic and third is they have given alcohol and yeast. So, again very funny, and so it is what streptomycin. So, I will write the answer here streptomycin, come to the third one, now third one I am reading the question number C. Now, which is carrier or uh, carrier sorry carrier of uh, malaria causing protozoan is we have discussed this that female anopheles is the one which carries plasmodium is not it and that is the reason when female anopheles, uh, anopheles uh, mosquito anopheles mosquito bites someone then the plasmodium of different species may be plasmodium vivix or some other species are also there they come or they come into the another organisms body and there the plasmodium starts their life cycle and spreads malaria. So, they have asked the question is in this way that the carrier of malaria causing protozoan is first female anopheles mosquito definitely. Then second they have given cockroach, third they have given house fly, the fourth one is butterfly, but we know the first one is the correct answer which is female anopheles mosquito. So, it is female anopheles 
mosquito. Now, come to the D1. Now, I will just read the question number D. The most common carrier of communicable disease is. Now, first of all, we need to talk about the communicable disease. What is the meaning of the communicable disease? Communicable disease is a disease which gets spread by the microbes from the infected person to the uh, healthy person. And how does it, uh, it spreads? It may spread through water, air, food and even by the contact. So, they are talking, they are saying that communicable disease is mostly who are the carriers children. Uh, first, they have given ant, second housefly, third dragonfly and the fourth one is spider. The options are definitely very funny. So, we will come to the second one. Second is the correct answer for D, housefly. We all know houseflies are responsible for the spread of many diseases. That is the reason we always uh, try to cover our food. We always try to protect our food from these dirty uh, houseflies. Because we know that when these houseflies sit on the uh, may, maybe excreta of some animal, some mammals excreta, you know, and through uh, the excreta, the microbes enter into the uh, you know the house flies uh, uh, maybe it gets stuck with the the you know the uh, the minute parts of the uh, body and then get transferred from one organism to another organism now we'll talk about the e1 the bread or idli dough rises because of Again, again the same questions are being asked in some another way. So, E is the bread or idli dough rises because of first heat, second grinding, third growth of yeast cells and fourth is kneading. So, we all know this is due to the growth of the yeast cells. growth of the growth of the yeast cells. Now, we will talk about the next question which is definitely F1. The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called oh my goodness not again the same thing is being asked in all the questions almost you know no uh, this one is fifth and now I do not think so that it has to be explained and this one is fermentation. Now we will talk about the match the columns and this is question number third. Match the this. Now, here we are talking about the question number third, and that is match the pairs. And in this match the pairs, definitely two columns are given, and in this one column, the uh, it is given first, second, third, the microorganisms are given, and on the other side the certain, uh, certain activities of the microorganisms are given and we need to match these activities with the responsible microorganism. So, I will just write the column 1 or just 1 and this one is second. So, first they have given bacteria, I will write first bacteria and the second they have given uh, rhizobium <coughs> the third 
one is lactobacillus the fourth one is yeast and the fifth one is protozoa or the protozoans now if i talk about the second column what what they have given now in column second i'll be writing so here i'll be writing a a is fixing nitrogen now b is setting of curd now c is uh, baking of bread baking of bread and d is causing malaria yes d is causing malaria e is causing cholera and f is causing aids now here i'll be writing answers so for answers i'll be writing here now first of all for writing the first answer so bacteria and we all know bacteria are responsible the for causing the disease cholera just now we were discussing that it is a water borne disease because uh, it comes into existence because of the uh, because when the person takes unclean or dirty water so e first is i'll just be writing the uh, a b c d only so that the as there is less space over here so bacteria are responsible for cholera now come to the second one and second one is rhizobium without seeing the options we all can write that rhizobium is for fixing nitrogen oh i wrote the answer over here so okay then for first also i will write then it was uh, cholera or e if it is written and here nitrogen fixing means it is a now i won't be writing in detail i'll be just uh, writing the correct options now when we talk about the third one lactobacillus definitely for setting of curd this also we can understand without seeing the options also and third is b now the fourth one is yeast and we all know yeast is the best one for making the bread bread that means it is c now come to the fifth one and fifth is protozoan and protozoans we all know protozoans are the one which are responsible for the spread of malaria and so fifth is d i think only five is given no one more is given over here uh, this one is sixth and the sixth one is a virus and we all know for uh, if i talk about the sixth one the virus and we all know causing aids virus are responsible for the aids so i will just write the f so this was about match the column which was more than easy and we have discussed all these things in detail in the chapter so i don't feel like explaining this again now we will move to the next question that is a question number 4 so please know this we are solving question answers of ncr ncert and definitely after solving these questions we will be discussing certain extra questions certain hot important questions also so please note this
we have discussed three questions and now we will be discussing question number fourth and the question number fourth is I am talking about question number fourth but I will be writing here answer number fourth we are doing NCERT solutions so question number fourth is can microorganisms be seen with the naked eye if not how can they be seen again not a surprising one it's uh, totally the one which we are discussing in the, uh, the all the questions are almost same so uh, what is the question can microorganisms be seen we all know what are microorganisms very minute uh, creatures are microorganism which we cannot see with our naked eyes and uh, the, uh, for seeing microscope it is very very essential to use microscope so what we will write no we cannot see microscope no again I said microscope that we cannot see microscope so it is not like that we cannot see microorganisms so we cannot see microorganisms with our naked eyes as they are very small they are very minute hence microscope is required to see microorganisms before also we have discussed that microorganisms are the one which are very very small we cannot see this with uh, our naked eyes and we need to use magnifying glass and most of the time we need to use uh, we need to have microscope so what is the question can we see microorganisms no and why we cannot see microorganisms because these are very small very minute and the third question is uh, like what is required to use uh, to see microorganisms so definitely we need to use microscope now <coughs> answer number fifth I'll be talking about now so question is what are the major groups of microorganisms the question is what are the major groups of microorganisms so there are five major groups of microorganisms there are there are five major groups of microorganisms and we know very well we have discussed all this uh, all these groups so the first one is bacteria then fungi <coughs> the third one is virus algae and the fifth is protozoan <coughs> so these are the fifth major groups in which the microorganisms are divided into and we have read all these groups in uh, in you know in detail we read about bacteria that how bacteria are uh, present in different shapes and sizes how bacteria are useful how bacteria are harmful fungi we discussed much about the yeast and the bread molds also how uh, these are very very beneficial for us <coughs> viruses the one which are not in the category of living or the non living uh, one uh, these virus becomes active when they enter in the body of living organisms maybe the plants or the animals 
algae are the aquatic plants and they are they can be seen uh, where the little water or you know share uh, certain favorable conditions are there and algae are the one which are autotrophs protozoa now protozoans are the one uh, which <coughs> Uh, protozoans are the one which are responsible for the diseases like malaria, uh, dengue. So, the protozoans are also what uh, the microorganisms which are responsible for various diseases. So, here the division of the microorganisms uh, I have written over here that they can be divided into five major groups. Uh, they, uh, what, what are the groups? So, bacteria, fungi, virus, algae, and protozoans. Now, we will move to the next question and the next is 6 1. Now, answer num question number 6 is what? So, uh, question number 6 is name the microorganisms which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. I think so that if you have seen the lectures or the lectures properly of this chapter then we can uh, give this answer without even uh, delay of single uh, second that the microorganisms which are responsible for the uh, nitrogen fixation is uh, are what the rhizobium bacteria the blue green algae uh, like nostoc and anabena. So, the question is name the microorganisms which can fix atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. So, it is rhizobium and blue green algae. Now, come to the next one and this conversion is also very very important as the plants cannot absorb the nitrogen directly and so it need to be converted into the compounds of nitrogen so that it can be absorbed by the plants properly. And from plants only it get transferred into the body of the animals why and how because the animals feed directly or indirectly they depend upon the uh, plants they eat plants and so the plant protein get converted into the animal protein and when the death after the death of the animals and plants again the protein get converted into ammonia, ammonia get converted into nitrites, nitrites get converted into nitrates and again it goes into the soil. Now, we will talk about the next question and the next question is answer number 7 I will be talking about yes answer number 7 and the question is write 10 lines on the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives. See I have discussed this thing many a times uh, uh, that we can divide the use of the all the microorganisms in general under certain head, headings. Now, uh, I would not be writing the 10 lines, but I will be writing the gist of that and many a times while teaching also I have told that I, I have been telling this that it is not necessary that I, I have written whatever I am writing is in a complete sentence form. Many a times I write incomplete sentence and many a times I write gist or many a times I write just only the words. So, I would not be writing all complete sentences, but when you will be writing this or whatever the words are written over here when you will try to frame the sentences the 10 it will, it will be definitely mm, around 10 sentences. So, what we need to talk about we are discussing now we will be discussing answer number 7 the question is the usefulness of microorganisms. So, children the usefulness of microorganisms can be divided in certain you know certain uh, it comes can uh, divide into certain categories like uh, very very important uh, many microorganisms are used in the field of medicine. So, it is used in the field of medicines when we talk about the medicines how these are used these are used in the form of the I am again saying that I am not writing in the complete sentence formation I am not writing in a complete sentence. So, if we talk about medicine then we need to write about vaccine and we need to also write about the antibiotics. Now, 
there are many microorganisms which are used as uh, medicine if we talk about vaccines so many uh, viruses are used for the vaccine purpose and antibiotics what is the meaning of antibiotics it is the um, chemical uh, uh, substance which is very very useful uh, 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 and it helps in killing the other microorganisms so what is vaccine now vaccine and antibiotics antibiotics is the substance which is made by the microorganisms and which is useful in killing the other microorganism whereas what is vaccine when we talk about vaccine in case of vaccine the uh, microorganism themselves are entered into the another uh, body like vaccine is what either the weak uh, microorganism dead microorganism or inactive microorganism these kind of microorganisms when entered into another body of maybe the humans or uh, the animals the body of that particular human or uh, animal starts making antibodies they, the the wbc fights or the body body fights with with the these inactive uh, uh, you know the inactive and uh, uh, sometimes dead and the weak uh, microorganisms and develop the immune, immune power so we'll be discussing the difference between vaccine and antibiotic in detail also but now when we talk about medicine and uh, the, the usefulness of microorganism and field of medicine so the med, uh, vaccines are prepared and antibiotics are also prepared now antibiotics what and vaccine what so we know like uh, uh, penicillin uh, penicillin notatum is useful in making the uh, penicillin now uh, we also know certain streptomycins and you no know, many antibiotics are there so uh, we need to uh, talk about this now so penicillin notatum penicillin notatum is required to make penicillin a product which is used as an uh, uh, antibiotic okay now uh, streptomycins and many are there this is being done by the uh, fungus now the another one now vaccines if we talk about for many diseases like tuberculosis cholera and many are there for what the vaccines are being even the polio many are there so the vaccines are given for these kind of diseases if we talk about this is a first use which can be elaborated like anything you can write many names like streptomycin over here strepto strep what happened to me strep tomycin okay chloromycin and many many antibiotics are there which is being used by us now the second use can be agriculture now when we talk about agriculture what can be the uses in the field of agriculture the manure is being made yes manure is made that means the microorganism convert the dead plants or the animals uh, into again uh, soil uh, or i can say increases of fertility by decomposing them sewage get decomposed uh, by the microorganisms which get again uh, which again gives good uh, manure so in field of agriculture it is very very useful as they give manure and uh, if i talk about environment now if i talk about environment environment so it for the environment also it is very very essential why it is very very essential because the dead and decay part gets converted you know it gets the earth get rid of all dead and decay waste material only because of the microorganisms that means microorganisms kill clean the microorganisms clean the environment clean the environment by converting okay clean by 
decomposing the waste is not it by decomposing the waste decomposing the waste. Now, fourth if I talk if I write food then uh, many uh, uh, microorganisms are also used as food if we talk about many algas yes even if we talk about mushrooms so they are used as food many algas are very very rich now alga is very very rich in nutrients like iodine potassium like sodium and it serves as a very good food even the fungus like the mushrooms are very very useful and is used as a food uh, in uh, India also like in soups and pulao's and curries vegetables. So, even these are very important as it is used as a source of the food. Now, if I talk about the fifth use of the microorganisms then in the industry in the baking and the wine industry in the wine industry. So, we all know yeast is very very important as due to the process of fermentation is not it due to the formation of fermentation what is fermentation the breakdown of the glucose into the alcohol or the acid is known as fermentation. So, yeast because of the process of fermentation is very very useful in the bread industry if you talk about or uh, baking this is baking and the wine industry. So, it is also very very useful in the wine industry. It is also useful in the making of idlis, dosas, pizza and you know any kind of food which needs to be fermented the dough needs to be fermented. So, these are the five major uses when you write the when will when you will write these five sentences can easily be converted into 10 sentences and if you write uh, many you know many uh, more sentences you can write upon this because we have discussed the uses of microorganisms in quite detail. So, these are the uh, major five useful uh, things which we are getting from the microorganisms that means we are using the microorganisms in the field of the medicines to prepare vaccines and the antibiotics we are also using them in the field of agriculture to form or to get manure. We are also thankful to microorganisms because they clean the environment by decomposing or breaking by uh, breaking the you know the major the groups or the uh, decomposing the dead body or the sewage into the uh, uh, you know into the smaller particles and again it becomes a part of the uh, soil. Food as we have discussed that we get food from uh, most of the microorganisms and then baking and fine industries and other industries are also very very beneficial. If you talk about certain you know cheese curd the processing of the cheese the processing of the curd like lactobacillus if I talk about lactobacillus there is no place actually for me to write over here bacillus is useful in making the curd yes then if you talk about the cheese then uh, the place is not there but the cheese you know is also uh, is uh, uh, you know it is made why because of certain bacteria certain bacteria and even the fungi which are working upon them upon the dairy products. So, there are many many uses you can write uh, more than 10 sentences just I have tried to given uh, just over here about the uses of the microorganisms. So, now we will be talking about the next question and the next question is about the where it has gone the eighth one uh, write a short paragraph on the harms caused by the microorganisms. Now, see uh, this thing I have discussed earlier also that when we talk about the usefulness the usefulness of the microorganism can be divided into certain parts you know like food, agriculture, environment, um, big like industries and even many are there you know if I talk about the rhizobium bacteria here only in the environment if I write uh, rhizobium bacteria ok. So, what they are doing they uh, convert the nitrogen to nitrates 
they convert nitrogen to nitrates so even th this is what it is a usefulness of bacteria that means there there are many many uses of uh, microorganism and at the same time when we talk about the harmful or the uh, you know the negative part of the microorganisms we can divide them into three parts like the major problem is diseases so microorganisms are responsible for causing various diseases the second thing they spoil our food and the third thing because of the spoiling of food only uh, we suffer you know like the poisoning of food or the food poisoning occurs but again food poisoning is connected to disease food poisoning is also what disease you know so when we talk about usefulness of microorganisms there are uh, hundreds of uses of microorganisms but when we talk about the uh, diseases uh, sorry the harmful uh, side of the uh, bacteria uh, the uh, microorganisms then we can talk much about the diseases because there are many deadly diseases uh, for uh, which are responsible for the death of the human beings and the um, even the animals and the microorganisms are responsible for all those diseases so this was about the usefulness of the microorganisms and now we will be discussing about the harmful effect or the negative aspect of the microorganisms so please note this